Uh, let's now take a look at this Venn diagram problem where we actually have three things happening. So let's uh, draw our universe over here. We have event A, which we'll put in red. And to make the picture hopefully a little bit clearer, let's put event B in blue. And event uh, C we'll put in uh, blue. So C is in blue. Uh, B is in green. I might have misspoken earlier. And event A will be in red. Okay, now let's start entering the information here. So A intersect B intersect C. The chance of that happening is 0.05. So that goes here in the middle where everything happens, 0.05. Uh, a intersect B is given to be 0.08, so this area of, or the probability of this slice is 0.08, which makes this bit 0.03. A intersect C is this part here. The total has to be 0.09, which makes this part 0.04. Um, B intersect C is 0.13, so the sum of these has to be 0.13, so this makes 0.08, so that we get a sum of 0.13 here. And finally, the area of point, or the probability of A is 0.14. We already have these slices here, so let's see, 0.03 here. The middle is 0.05. The next one is 0.04. So 0.12 total, which leaves 0.02, so that the sum of the areas in the red circle should be 0.14. For the green circle, we've already drawn out 0.03, and then the next one is 0.05, and then the next one is 0.08. So 0.16, they have to add up to 0.23, so that leaves 0.07 here. And finally, for C, we've already, in the blue, we've already drawn these three, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, and 08. 0 0.04, 0 0.05, and 0 0.08. Those add up to 0 0.17. So if their total is 0 0.37, we need to have 0 0.20 for this part. Um, okay, so finally, let's see if we add up everything. We have 0 0.02 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.05, plus 0 0.03, plus 0 0.07, plus 0 0.08, plus uh, 0.2. So 0 0.49 is everything, and so we have 0 0.51 is the area, or the, I keep saying area, the probability of none of the events happening. And if I add up the numbers in brown, I should get 1. Okay, so let's take a look at these uh, problems. The probability of A given B. So the probability of A given B, we can do this by division, very much like the uh, Venn diagram problem that came before this. This is the probability of A intersect B divided by the probability of event B. If I multiply the probability of B times the probability of A given B, then I get the probability of A and B. So the probability of A given B can be found by division. So the probability of A intersect B, according to the problem, A intersect B is 0.18, or 0.08, pardon me. The probability of event B, we just erased, was 0.23. And so the answer is going to be 8 20 thirds. So that's the probability of A given B. Uh, the probability of A given B or C. Okay, so let's be very careful in how we write this. So this is going to be the probability of a intersect either B or C, more on that in a little bit, 
divided by the probability of B union C. Okay, now the probability of B union C, if I just take a look at this, B union C would be uh, everything that is here. So if I take 0.07 plus 0.03 plus 0.05 plus 0.08 plus 0.04 plus 0.20, that's going to be the probability of B union C. So if I just add them up, 0.07 plus 0.03 plus 0.05 plus 0.08 plus 0.04 plus 0.20, adding up these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers, I get the, that the probability of B union C is 0.47. There's other ways that this could have been cal calculated. Uh, we see that we have 0.02 here and 0.51 for 0.53, so everything else has got to be 0.47. This also could have been figured out by taking the probability of B plus the probability of C minus the probability of B intersects C. Okay, the top quantity, A and B or C. So that would be these three numbers. It must be an A and it also must be in either B or C. So that's these three numbers here. So 0.03 plus 0.05 plus 0.04. So adding those together, we get 0.12. So the answer works out to be 12 47ths. So this means, the this symbol means must be in A, and it must be in either B or C someplace. So that would be these three numbers here. Uh, part three, probability of A given at least one. So the probability of A given uh, at least one. So this is equal to the probability of A intersect a or B or C divided by the probability of A or B or C. Okay, the bottom is point fifty uh, is point forty nine. We worked that out earlier. Adding up all the numbers in brown in the picture. The top says it must be an A, and it must be either an A, B, or C. Well, that's redundant. If it's an A, then it's an A, B, or C. So the top here is really the probability of event A all by itself, so 0.14. If it's an A, it must be an A or B or C. So the, the, the top probability is simply the probability of A all by itself. And then simplifying this, this works out to be 2 sevenths. Okay, lastly, let's work out the probability of A in union B given C. So for this one, let's put this one in um, light purple. So the probability of A union B given C. So by the division that we saw earlier, we can write this as the probability. Uh, if it must be an A union B, I'll put that in brackets, it must be an A union B, and it also must be in C, divided by the probability of being in C. Okay, the probability of being in C, that was given to be 0.37. Okay, the top, it must be in A or B, and it must be in C. So that means it's got to be in these one of these three small regions here. It can be in a, either A or B, but it must be in C. So that leaves us with 0.04 uh, plus 0.59. Let me back up. It must be in 0.04 plus 0.05 plus 0.08. So 0.04 plus 0.05 plus 0.08 gives me 0.17. And so the answer is 17 37ths.